All righty, here we are for game number two of the night. We got the Empire. Whoa, it's always a little weird. First, the Mambas. Let's get a little That's iPad camera on. going. Uh, game number two, the Mambas took the first one, one to nothing. So we are here with game number two as the Empire looked to even the score up. But obviously the Mambas would love to sweep the night and continue their playoff push and maybe chip away that Thunderbirds lead in the division. Don't wear yourself out. Just try to hit the first one. All right, we got Tommy Dwyer on the hill for the Empire and Cole Layton stepping in, and this game is getting started right now. Cole goes the other way right to Colin, who makes the play. He's actually, I think, at like third base. But one away. A quick out. Oh, I actually hit the runs because I can barely see when I lay it down like this. Verified, verified by their own team. All right, well, Tommy could not be any more efficient than he was right there. Can't see a thing. One pitch, one out. That's how we felt all last game. Anytime Josh was on deck, that was our formal complaint. Good pitch there from Tommy. And Tommy uh, bringing some heat and seems to be right around in location. So this could be a tough night for the Mambas here if Tommy can keep this going. I haven't been able to see any of his pitches yet. Well, you are missing out. But that's because Ryan Arrear is mic'd up here. So it's all for the content. Like that, eh? Who's it, Ryan? Hey, I have your camera still. Are you done with it? Um. He said the only thing he had left to do was drop it on the ground. If you're, if I you're, thought it was going to go somewhere else. If you're. Uh, like not playing the field, can you take just a few of a rear pitching? Yeah. Good pitch there, and there's two away. Because that would be the only thing. If I can get, if you can get some of a rear pitching, then I can be good. Because I yeah. got a bunch of you guys. There's been a lot of. Uh, oh shoot! I forgot to change the GoPros. Right. So say Parker. Well, I'll step in and fix everything here for you. This might be a little delayed. Now Jason's in my way, but that's all right. Was that a strike? Yeah. Hey, or something, right? There you go. All right. I can kind of see everything going on here. Swing and a miss. Parker Bunch had the RBI and reach on air in the, uh, in the last game. He won it for the Mambas. That one just missed. One to the count here, Parker Bunch. Parker, oh. foul ball. Oh. A foul oh. ball. Who made that rule? Oh. Well, well, maybe you shit. get some power in the league. Maybe you shouldn't have quit as commissioner. Oh. Parker strikes out swinging. Third out of the inning. Oh, yeah. We go to the bottom of the first. It's still 0-0. Zero, zero. All right. All I'm asking for is a little breeze. Our great sponsors. And Moviv is brought to you by Balmerito Automotive Group. Balmerito is Missouri's number one automotive group. They sell and service every make and model and have your next vehicle in stock or on the way. Find them at social media and at balmerito.com. That was a pretty funny joke, though. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I ain't got to worry about crap. I know, I'm just saying that was pretty funny, though. I like the bear. Kiss. Kiss. Damn it, crap. Where you? Okay. Is that back on, Jason? I gotta set this. Well, I have returned to do my duty. <laughs> Here you go. Thank you. Thank you. Bottom of the first inning, it's still 0 0. We want to thank Bomberito and Automotive did. Group. Oh, yeah. again. Thank, him thank him again. Yeah. Yeah, I always. You know, I like to put up the brought to you by a Bomberito Automotive Group in two yeah. and a half innings, and the camera's now messed up. Josh, you fix that camera. Yeah, Josh, can you do something around here besides just standing in the way? What does it say? 
I don't know, but it still works, so I wouldn't yeah. touch it. Yeah, we're good. So just to give our viewers at home a little bit of an idea of what we see back here, this is the full extent of my view right now. It's just Josh Rogers. League leader in batting average and league leader in standing in the way. It went down a little bit. I'll be right back. Oh, right off the phone again. Josh might as well be commissioner at this point with all the work he's doing back here. All right, here we go. We got Josh at the plate versus Ryan O'Rear for the bottom of the first inning. I didn't know who was behind me. I like, saw, I like looked this way, then kind of saw you, and I was like, who is behind me? Oh, good pitch there. I just like to know if I'm even interested. Good that pitch was there. very close. Jason, 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 why am I sitting in? Not my chair. That's not as good. That's well, my chair. This is just the order I'm that is one and one. The chairs were here. Oh. Whoa! You don't want to have Rogers a little repeat of what happened a few weeks ago, bud. Get that bat down. Yeah, Josh has got some words for Ryan as he looks out to the mound after that one almost hit him in the head. Probably the mm. Probably the warmest night we've had at Mo Whiff here, but it's starting to cool off as the sun goes down. I don't believe it's starting to get a little breeze. Yeah, not not as bad. There's a really hot battery in my pocket because I forgot to put it back. Oh, in watch it! Strike out number one. There First out of the inning. <laughs> I'll bring up Colin. Colin been swinging a good bat as of late. Was one of the top rookie hitters in what came out on our Twitter. Make sure you go follow us. We had a rookie uh, mid hitting mid-season mid grade. grade for hitting thus far. Pitching will be out maybe next week. Yeah, I've heard that this is coming out this upcoming week. Here's Sam Skibby in the house. A local celebrity, some might say. A SWBL champion this past weekend. Yeah, so Sam Skibby wins the Skib Skibby Wiffle Ball League against Fino Gus Skibby. It is the first time in like 13 years that Sam has won. Yeah, but it's still oh, fun really? to say. But back to back years that the Skibby brothers played each other in the championship. Yeah, it's rigged. Yeah, he also won the home run derby again as well. Hmm. So. I see. Yeah, it's it's interesting how everything there is lined up just for the Skibbies. <laughs> is that another? Does he work the double walk there? Yep. I mean, isn't it his field? <laughs> and it is his field, yes. <laughs> He's got an advantage. <laughs> I have full faith in whatever you did. Well, it's perfectly fine at this point. There's a good pitch there. The pitch looked like it was going to be a strike the whole way. And up. That's off. That is noodle. It's an also a really good pitch. Yeah, Ryan over here has really got the ball moving tonight. And that's going to be a tough night for the Empire. As of right now, the Mojo team consists of Quentin and Sam, as the other Mojos will trickle in throughout this game. Oh, just a bit outside. It's a Runner advances. Yeah, I wish. That would be interesting, but as a pitcher who throws all over the place, I'm very glad to be busy. in the backyard. That's how I wish we'd play. You know what, though? Sometimes too many rules isn't always a good thing. Yep. You know, it's probably smart for us not to do that. We'd have just, we'd have a lot more runs. Great eyes. I would rather find ways to manufacture runs with the bat, though. Than, I agree. I agree. Than walks and pass balls and nonsense. Yeah. I agree. There's a good pitch. Because nothing would be worse than the walk off wild pitch. I've won a couple of games in national tournaments, that way. Yeah, that doesn't even sound like I'd be that excited. Take a win in a national championship. Well, yeah, that's probably true. Anyway, I can second and third, and the Empire have an opportunity here right off the bat with one away and Captain Tom Wilkerson. All the Empire fans are on their feet right now, looking for an early run. Come on, Tom. Ball inside. Wisely, you know, making Ryan work here early. Um, the scouting report on Ryan is that he does walk some guys, 
But also, you, he hasn't been going deep into games this year, so maybe if you can get him to yeah. throw out of it early this year, this game, you won't have to uh, see him for as long. Got to be interesting to see how long he can go in this one. That one just oh, missed. That's it. What's up, Thank you, sir. Wait, actually, uh, Andrew, can you put this in that red oh. bucket? What? Foro? I don't know. I was distracted as well. I think that's Foro. Yes, yeah, congratulations. I thought it was. Is that five? Oh, he, th he told me he thought it was five. I only had four, but I was also distracted, so... Watch it all the way in, Tom. All right, so that was five. So we go to 55 and under with one away, second and third. Last time we saw this situation, it was an error that won the Mamas the game. But Ryan O'Rear knows how to throw slower. Ooh, that just missed. It was 58. I got you. What was it? 58. Hey, you don't worry about the speed. You swing if it's a strike. All I heard was a whole bunch of people say Ryan O'Rear is hot. And I was confused. So he's got a knuckleball that kind of tumbles. That ball's right into the ground to Parker. He throws it anyways. Two away. It's going to bring up Mike Flores. With two away. That's a big out there for Ryan. Absolutely. You know, now he's one pitch away from being out of the jam. Good pitch there. Are you sure? <laughs> Two and zero oh as Ryan struggling to find the strike zone right now. He's at 24 pitches so far here in this first inning. 18 balls, only six strikes. That is not what most would say is a winning formula. No. Nope. But he has gotten out of it thus far. That's four. He's gotten two outs. Yeah, he forgot. Good thing you didn't do the uh, presentation. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot. I forgot. I. Even, I'll be honest. I forgot I had it, and so he didn't remind people. So because I knew. That's we were doing. five. Said, That's five. He said, Did you bring it? And now like, Mike Flores I even had it. is going to take yeah. the walk. <laughs> He's gonna take a single walk. Okay, baby. Not what I would have done there, uh, but no, not me that's that's uh, all right, I guess. What is what does a Gold Glove pitcher get? <laughs> I, I need to get new awards, period. What? Oh, I need to get new awards, period. Yeah. How? Uh, when are you gonna post those out? Graphics and such for the awards. Oh, uh, it'll be. Well, he's got 300 and something days to get them all out, so it'll be uh, end of summer. Gotcha. Two and zero. Oh? Three and three, you know. I got a pretty vacation good vacation first. I got a pretty good shot at a pitcher in Gold Glove. Four and oh, as that one just misses. Here's a chance here for Josh and the Empire to strike early. Zero zero. Full on red light. Zero, zero. There it is. Josh thinking about swinging and toss it. Let's take the run. Ball five, Josh takes the walk. It's one nothing Empire. Uh -oh. Ryan O'Rear struggling on the mound here. If you're cold, what do you got to be thinking here? Yeah, at what point do you call down to the bullpen and start getting oh. someone loosened up? That one just He missed. is just missing, too, which is even more frustrating. That one's taken all the way here. And I don't know. Oh, oh no. no. Thank oh, you man. is what Ryan O'Rear is saying in his head right now. What a slap in the nuts that is. <laughs> wow. Maybe that's the strike that Ryan needed as he's 2-2 two two now. Yeah, and then he pounds his own. It is interesting, though, because I, I get the taking the lead. But at the same time, you had two batters who could hit 55 and under. Yeah. This inning, you could have piled on a little bit. Yeah. I don't know. 
But hey, they got the You lead. never know in this league. But Ryan O'Rear is good at that 55 rounder, so it could have been smart. That is true. That one's inside. Now, now they could be playing count. the numbers that he just hasn't thrown many strikes, and they could yeah. just try to keep building on it, too. Full count swing and a miss. You got him. Only one to nothing after all of that, but the Empire do have the lead as we head to the top of the first inning. The top of the first, the top of the second inning as we complete the first inning. Uh, what did we get through? We just won. We're on homestand. Homestand. Homestand is our playoff sponsor. Homestand is America's strike zone, custom made using the best materials and paint on the market for longevity and durability. It's kid owned and family managed. Check out their Instagram for more information. Thank you to Feather Shark. Feather Shark is located in Chesterfield, Missouri. They are the leading IT provider for fire districts in the metro area. They provide, manage, and support, support, support VoIP phones, desktop servers, and networks. For more information, go to feathershark.com. That was a combination of the words support and VoIP. Words are hard. You know what? <laughs> if you'd like to come read the sponsors every half inning. That's why I never sit over there. My wife's going I would be more than happy to I would love if you guys want to learn how to do this. That was complicated. So we could, it's really not. That's worse than reading. Why? You have to go and make things so complicated. That is what Dustin Hitchcock is saying at the moment. When is it? Jason, I will say, I don't know if one is enough here in this game. Yeah, I would assume no, but it was enough for game one. But, so. but Tommy looked really good in that first inning. So you never know. It looks like he may have found something. Hey, you know what? If you are the Empire, you've got to run with anything you can find right now. This is a very good hitting team. There's a if Tommy can just continue to throw strikes, he might be doing all right. Good cut. This is in there. OT here to Alex Eggert. He's making sure I didn't miss a ball in there. Ooh, just misses low. That's a great pitch. That is a fantastic pitch. I know I got a lot of little bugs out here tonight flying around my face. It's inside for ball two. Thank you. Okay. Oh, I heard you can kill people. I'm like, yes, that's like, I see these guys as like trying to do that. He's wire rocking his sunglasses. It's a ball that bounces into the dirt. Catcher tried to frame it, didn't get the call. Yeah, you know what? Our umpiring AJ. staff tonight has been all over it. This is an AJ Przinsky move. Calling a very fair game as that ball hits off the hands and rolls foul. All right. Is that a foul ball? Pitching it. Is that a foul ball? I, I believe so. Pass the cone. Okay. Pass the cone foul on the ground. I just didn't know if it was like I missed a ball or a strike, or if it did hit the batter, it didn't. Ah, uh, you know. Full count here, either way. And Good pitch. Pitch there. September, man. Good swing there, but a strikeout nonetheless. Didn't quite get all the balls cleared there. All right, the Mambas. Yeah, they lost one nothing on a 55 and under air. Oh, good right in the corner. It's found something here. Yeah, Tommy's definitely looking like a new man out there on the hill. Tonight, rocking the shades and all. The yeah. question will be, can he maintain this through an entire game? You know, yeah, that'll be the be question. But as of right now, he is impressing a lot of people. You look tired. I was out in the sun all day. I've been at the pool since 11 o'clock. Sounds, like, sounds exhausting. No, they. I got it. I got it. I bet. I should have stayed home. But the deal will be able to get uh, James Dutton, winning pitcher in game one. Oh, and he's oh, sorry. Just sorry. misses. Three hack, baby. Wow. Three hack. You're good. Just misses. He has shown he has the potential to take it deep. Good pitch. Wow. Didn't know that was coming. 
<laughs> Great pitcher, strikeout. That was yucky. For the second out of the inning. Yes. Brings in Cole Layton. Cool. Fire team list, we have a little more fun the past couple weeks. Got that win. That first yeah. Way to wear it, kid. I'm already fucking hurt. You know what, Cole? This is a family program. Cool, that's also a wiffle ball. The kids. I don't know, I got hit with a 91 mile an hour wiffle ball and it still hurts. Sorry. I got Still pegged. Oh, Cole just no, missed that. I, I, I don't think I would either if I got hit by one. I got no, pegged on, uh, on Friday night, <laughs> running home. <laughs> got pegged by a Jimmy Nelson, like say, uh, 90 freaking mile an hour, just turn and chuck. And I still had the welt last night. <laughs> Yeah, that was the uh, the mark on your rib area, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah it was pretty. It looked like I had ring. <laughs> it was so bad. I don't think he needs a mound vent that he's cruising right now. Josh it, likes to mess up the tempo. If it falls yes, apart, we know why. There, we know what happens. Oh, I'm trying to teach him a pitch minute back. Gonna get in his head. Yeah, I don't know if I'd be messing with Tommy right now as he's pitching the best game of his career. Might be one of those times to just shut oh, up and let it play. Cole just missed that Double play. Double play. Hey. We need to put, we need to have a line. It has to go past. <laughs> When's nap time? Now. Later on tonight after these four games. That's called bud. Ooh. Three and two. Little battle of brewing here. Tommy versus Cole. Cole, uh, nah, not feeling the best. Yeah, Cole is laboring a bit here. A few days removed from. Don't you mess that up. Oh, and Josh makes a case for gold hands. Yeah. Heading to the bottom of the second now. <laughs> We're going to thank later, UCCSTO. UCCSTO. Oh, like the oh. Sorry, I well, recover hey, money owed to you and chairs, creditors card and court judgments week. awarded to you and or your business. Go to uccstl.com for more information. And our draft and award shows were held at Lit Cigar Lounge. They are the St. Louis's premier cigar and whiskey bar located in Chesterfield, Missouri at the district. You can find them at litstl.com and go follow them on social media. And since nobody's doing anything, we'll go to Player of the Week. It is brought to you by Auto Spa, etc. It sets the bar for a clean car with an express tunnel location, a quick exterior wash, and free vacuums. The full service location with complete detailed centers. Auto Spa, etc. Clearly better. It shows in the shine. Go to autospaetc.com for locations. And this inning is still not started. So why not? We'll go to PCI. PCI believes that strategy and ideation are essential steps to finding the right brand and merchandise apparel award and sign solutions to both enhance your promotional marketing and employee recognition. Please go give them a follow and check them out at promotionalconsultants.com. Great place to work, huh? All right, let's see if in this half inning... Ryan over here can find the strike zone a little bit more. That'll be the key to the game it's for him at this point. Uh, what, home team? Away one nothing home team, team yeah. Or as Switcher would say, right, one nothing visitors. It does. We got to do it opposite there. Uh, apparently, Switcher was made for soccer, where the home team is first. But it's funny because it's a, it's a baseball uh, scoreboard. Yeah, well, maybe they're from Europe. All right, so Josh good Rogers view. has brought himself view. right back into the front row seats. I've heard that he gets all you can eat from here. <laughs> uh, not, I'm one for five today. All you can eat. <laughs> Maybe it's all you can eat strikeouts. Maybe, I'm telling you, the one hit you have, you didn't stand in front of us. Because I let off. Okay, so maybe that's the key here is you need to Tommy. stop standing in front of us as Tommy hits one to that's second Tommy base. Hacked, dude. Alex Egger? I was Alex Egger for the first out. I wish the zoom feature I could like click somewhere on the camera and then zoom. That would be cool. Oh yeah, no, it's terrible. Like I know that obviously that's expecting a lot of an iPhone sitting up there, but it would still be cool. Tom Wilkerson now. Two and oh quickly here is Ryan not really messing around. Oh my goodness. Uh, 
there's a good strike there, two and one on the inside corner. Oh, the lap is sweaty from this iPad. Justin. Three and one. Big swing and a miss. Really? Three and two. Look at Jeep on you, guy. Three and two. I'm gonna get that. You can't see it? Hey, can I teach you something? Can you help me out real quick? Good eye. Full count. We are full now with one we away. And he gets him looking on the inside, two away now. Super easy. I'm going to do it the next time. I want you to do it just while they, while the mom is pitching in the next time, so I can take some pictures of over your pitcher. He's like the one person we don't have pictures of. Super hard, right? <laughs> you don't really have to be much here. All right, one and one to Mike Flores, two and one now. Oh. Yeah, you used to I had to change it before every game. Oh, great pitch. That was yucky. Mike. Mike. Two, two now, two outs, five in the second. Empire still holding on to that one nothing lead here. Oh, that one got a little away from him there. A little bit wild. A lot better in here so far. Three and two, or four and two. I was thinking full count and then said three and two. <laughs> Is that baseball mind? Yeah, you know. We got some weird rules here. Actually, they're really not that weird, but. They're really not. And he gets him chasing. There's that riser that looks like a strike all the way in. Super easy. And to the top of the third now, we're going to thank Public Schoolhouse. Public Schoolhouse is premier event venue for weddings, rehearsal days, yeah. corporate yeah. events, showers, holidays, anniversaries, and so, birthday parties. They're located in the heart of Conoco, Missouri. You can find them on Facebook, and Instagram, play. and publicschoolhouse.com. Game time tournaments is locally family owned and operated baseball and softball tournaments. Play at your team's skill level and flexible scheduling with no additional fees or charges. You can find more information at playgametimestl.com. <laughs> and Silver Fox. Silver Fox is your source for signs, banners, windows, graphics, vehicle wraps. You can find them on Facebook, Instagram, or go to Silver Fox Marketing, STL. Cool. It's like when you do it, too, so like, if they put it in play, I'll show you. Yeah. Uh, like, Alright, Tommy Dwyer coming out for his third inning of work. Let's see if the Mambas have an answer for him as they are seeing him once again. I'm teaching him to do this real quick. Oh, hungry. All right. Yeah, Tommy looking to... Hold on to this one nothing lead right now. Um, that's all it took in game one for the Mambas to beat the Empire. So they'd like to steal a game here in game two. You know, that's a pretty big ask when Ryan O'Rear is the game two starter for the Mambas. But as of right now, the Empire are holding their own. You don't normally see that. Yeah, no, I think uh, it might be one of those things with his limited innings. James kind of offers them a solid... I'm going to go the whole game. So here's oh, game one. And Ryan O'Rear hits it up the middle for a double. Oh, yeah. Way to start it. Did I hit the ball? Yeah, yeah. it was triple. Oh, it's a triple. I couldn't even see it because uh, there's play. a lot of stuff in between us. Hit triple. A leadoff triple is a great way to start this inning for the Mambas now. As Tommy's going to have to be very careful here. Yeah. Cool. It's that yeah, that's a big way to start this inning. Back to uh, James Dutton, one of the only, uh, he's very similar to Tony Cochran last year. He's undefeated on the mound so far. I think he's, what, now five? And I think that's a league leader in, uh, in wins. Posted him today, and he was at the top. He was tied. That's sole possession. Yeah, what's up with rookies running away with the win category? Last year, Tony Cochran had a pretty 
strong hold on wins for a long time. Um, and now James Dutton runs, running with a wins category. Say Parker. Parker had the loan. Oh, I guess he gets some RBI, right? Isn't there? The way Does that count? Uh, you know, I'm not 100% sure how that works. Good pitch there. So full count here to Parker with that runner on third, nobody out. Oh, Maybe. and that's going to be. I assume they're going to put out here. I assume they're going to put him on. He's going to throw. Not. What? Does he know? Oh, he does. Okay. 51. Interesting choice here with 55 and under with the runner on third, nobody out. I like it. A little gutsy. Boy, it's something, that's for sure. A little gutsy. <laughs> it's definitely something. Back to ball, Parker. What do you say, man? Because you can always just try to get him to chase. You don't have to. Th you don't have to throw it anywhere close. That's true. You could go for the unintentional, intentional exactly. walk. You know, this is an opportunity to just chase. But I don't know. Slow and up in the zone probably oh. isn't where I live. But that one almost hit that lower inside corner. Three and zero. Oh. And, and Josh is out there talking a little trash to try and get a swing out of Parker. Hey, you're good. You're just way ahead. Wow. Stay back. At least you didn't miss it. Yeah. And you know how many times that's happened? Yeah. That would have been way worse. I've done it. Uh, we all have. Oh. We all have. You're good. You're good, baby. Stay back a little bit longer. Good. Parker with a couple foul balls here has not squared up this 5,500. Uh, I think you have three balls. I guess the risky part is the one pitcher. Are hey, you guys keeping track of balls by chance? I have three balls. Three? Okay. Let's go! Parker Bunch makes it two to one. Way out of here, over the second fence. A double fencer puts the Mambas up two, and now the Empire fans are sitting at home, sitting in the stands, just in absolute shock while you're throwing 55 and under at that situation. That's one thing that it can do, it can get you. Yeah, I don't know that that's what I would do there, especially with how well Tommy's pitched. I think I just put the guy on second and let him, let him try and keep cruising at full speed. There's a good pitch. Big shot, league leader. Now it tied for the league lead in home runs, Parker Bunch. Yeah, Parker Bunch is having himself a great season. It's uh, fourth on the year. And that's gotta that's gotta be great, right? Insert him right in the middle of this Mamas lineup with that power right now. Tied with Sam Skibby, and does that put him? Good pitch there, Oops. strikes him out quickly. Big strike out there for Tommy. You know, paying attention to what these next two batters do would really show you what would happen if he would have just double walked him. Yeah, you never know. But then you got to face Cole with two on. You know where to put Cole. Well, it didn't work out already, so. Yeah. You know, I you get, could I argue get, maybe I face Cole. I get the thought process. You also got to keep in mind Cole not 100% tonight either. That's true. Oh, oh. James Dutton to Colin, two nice. away. So now you're two. You'd be two on, two outs for Cole. They could have tagged there, though. Yeah, it was close. Does bring in Cole late? No, he does get two outs there. Ooh. Whoa. And now Cole's got some words for the Empire. Little little headshots here in this game has got tempers flaring. <laughs> and the, the Umpire has has warned both sides that if it doesn't cut out, they may have to intervene. Don't make him laugh. Woo! Fouls it straight back, two and one. Way too close. Good pitch there, but not, not for a strike. Four and one now. Dangerous spot here. Well, not with anyone on now. Still. 
It's still dangerous. You want to keep this at one run game. That's five. What's up, Cole? So you would be in a situation where Cole would have gotten the 55 and under there. And I don't think he would have missed it, so you could argue you'd be in basically the same spot. If not worse. If not worse. But the inning's still not over, and Ryan O'Rear got done bamboozling the wiffle ball his first at bat. Time we have the 55 pitches here in the top of the third. There's a good pitch. It's a good pitch. Good pitch. Good cut. Okay. Feels fantastic right now. Couple of Natter days. Uh, bring me back to the weekend. And there is the ground out. So the Empire out of the inning, but unfortunately not until the Mambas put up two, ground making out. it two to one. Heading to the bottom Second of the third base. now. The Empire are going to have to do something if they want to Alan get back into this game. He's playing third base, so I'm gonna, he gets to put out. Okay. Just a, if it gets put in play, just ask me. I'll come over here. Now. Right. Pretty much just find the player. That Yes. Yeah. It says it says their positions all on the uh, on the left there. on the side here. Okay. Seems pretty intuitive. All right. We are going to thank our last couple sponsors on the list. We have Tross Spine. Tross is an innovative new age facility taking sports medicine to the next level. Our passion lies in treating all individuals through evidence based chiropractic, rehabilitation, and fitness training protocols. Find out more at TrossSpine.com and Arch Nemesis Brewery. They are a nano brewery located in the district. The Arch Nemesis specialize in kombucha and experimental batch craft beer. Give them a follow on all social medias for more information. Believe in yourself. There's a look at Dustin Hitchcock up close. Believe in yourself. Oh, camera froze. That's good. Broke it. Yep. Unfortunately, you were not good looking enough. I'm not paying for my looks. All right, that's going to bring in Josh Rogers. Jesus. I always alternate them when I get them. I can't, I, There's I can't a good first like three strike. In a row. Strike two quickly here. Ryan over here coming out dealing. He doesn't want another. Doesn't want another walk infested inning. That's where the damage was done. Let's go. Let's go. You know, there's been some interesting managerial decisions out of the Empire. Um, but ultimately, you got a two to one game. I don't know where that went. One and two now. And Josh puts this one in play to Cole Layton, who's laboring a little bit. But Cole, one of the better fielders in the league, makes the play one away. Huh? There you go. Here's Colin Wilkerson, who has been. Here we go. What are we doing here? You, put, you hit him. In play, hit him out, out, ground out. Okay. Uh, Cole Layton's at third. Yeah. Done. There you go. That's the ball. Oh, and Colin Wilkerson departs, and it is two to two. What an absolute mammoth shot as he trots the bases. Hey, Kirk Gibson! I don't know if that's good. But. Trotting the bases, making it two to two, and here comes Colin. And that's what you like to see if you're a fan of the Empire or a fan of Colin Wilkerson, which there is a whole one of in the fans and out in the seats right now. Did you get that? Yeah, we got it. Figure it out? Mm -hmm. Nice. There are a lot of Jason Worston home fans. That's what I hear. Yeah, yeah, shut with the, yeah. It's embarrassing me. All right, two, two right? to two now after he departs on a big fly, but there's a big first strike there to Tommy Dwyer. We were just saying earlier in the night that Colin is really turning around his offensive season as well as his pitching season, and we see it right there on display as that was a no-doubter. That one fouled off the hands. Yeah, he did. It hit his hands as he swung. That's why he didn't hear it. One.
One and two now. And he's going to get him swinging. Two away. All right, let's see if the other Wilkerson in this lineup can do some damage here, maybe put the Empire back on top. But either way, right now, it's two to two as we flash it back to that home run from Colin. Just kidding, we don't have that kind of technology around here, but you imagine if we did. Wow, quick one-two punch there from Ryan O'Rear, quickly 0-2. Outside. Whoa! Wow. And Tom takes a little bit of exception to that as that is another hits batsman in this game. I don't hit the knob of the bat. That's all right. I don't know what they're calling that one. What are they? What was that? I think it's like father like son, but. Either way, it strikes him out. And we head to the top of the fourth now, tied two to two, but not until the solo home run from Colin Wilkerson tying the ball game. We're gonna go swinging. Sounded like he's one. We're gonna go put this back in the. Mm -hmm. Should this tell you what the hitter does the last time too? Yeah, oh, that is sweet. That's nice. Yeah. Yeah, and then I'll see. And then i you what they did the last of bet too. Helps you should see it. Time. You should see at the uh, at the beginning of the game. It has their entire spray chart for the entire year. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Yeah. How do I know? How do you think I knew where to play? Them, yeah. Because right? I get to see it all the time. Are we done with the sponsor? Yeah. We are. Yes. I, just, I do it the old-fashioned way. Yeah. <laughs> the edit to right. Really? That's, that's really what I know. <laughs> If they're lefty, you bat it stand over if there. I'm really sure right, I remember I write it there. down. <laughs> if, if Josh is up, you put everybody on the pole side. All right, Parker Bunch did the damage for the Mambas. He's up here in the top of the fourth. Now oh, this game is tied. I do. <laughs> I tell you what, it sure feels like the Mambas ran into the Empire at the wrong time here. But they did come away with game one. Three and out. That broke. Yep. <laughs> Sorry, I can't reach that. A little low, four and one. There's a good pitch there to make it full. You have fireworks going on or something? That or somebody's terrible car. Boy, good eye. That is five balls. Are they going to let him hit? No, that's five. That is five. Eggert. That's five. All right, so the double walk. How much more do you want us to do for you? We already gave you one. We already gave you one 55 million. All right, so they do double walk him. He does, he does lead the league in home runs. Good eye. There's a good swing. Good swing. I mean, I hit it off the end of the back. Oh, fouls the back, one and two. Great series coming up next. We got the Archers, Mojo. Yeah, a couple teams battling it out in the Feather Shark division. Somebody's having a party over there. This is on a UCC STL divisional matchup. I got my top one. Look at all Austin. 
Oh, paints the outside corner for the first out. That's a big spot. Great pitch. Yeah, this Empire Mambas matchup, uh, looking to go the distance again here. Top of the fourth. Good pitch. So Tommy's still working it here. Tommy, 34 balls, 36 strikes. Oh, for a total inside. of 70 pitches. That's Maybe 71. a little bit of a payback pitch for going back inside the Tom last inning. You know, you're seeing this back and forth here. Umpire letting it slide. One and two. Tommy's issue in the past has been his ability to throw strikes, and he's done a lot better job today. I have two two. I have two two. I have two two. He said two two like five no. pitches ago. Sure he did. We all had it. There's a good and pitch in the outside corner. Way. The ball count did not matter there. Two away now for Cole Layton. Was a big strikeout. Is that what? I don't know there's a range near here. No, but it's definitely not. I don't know. Maybe it is. I don't think the so. The pattern and inconsistency is going through this. Mm -hmm. Hey, there, someone's pissed off. What was it? <laughs> we need a Ferguson. In today's world, you never know. Cole just. I feel like Cole just missed it has been the saying of the night. As he's put some good swings on the ball, but has not seen the results. That has been the story of the season. That's been the story of the league. But that's not the beat. That's not because the bats broke. I'm getting I think it might be because the bat's broken. Two and two. Uh, bats still hit home runs for me in the play, in the championship series. That was a long time ago. I haven't used it since. Oh, got the other way with it. Foot. Ugh. First and third after the single, he just missed the double as he's frustrated he didn't get it. Did hit that one hard. First and third here, two outs, and Ryan O'Rear looking to help himself out. Mic'd up. Yeah, what better opportunity than right now? Ooh. Goes right after that first pitch, though. Just missed that one. Yeah, Ryan O'Rear is a is a quiet character. You know, he's he's fairly quiet on a regular basis, but when you do get something out of him, he's got some life to him. Yeah, when he he makes something happen, he can be loud. Yeah, he's very quiet until he makes the big play, and then he's yep. a little flashy, which yep. I like. Yep, he's got good bat flips. Yep. Oh, there's that inside pitch again. O'Rear take, you know, got some words, got some words, but it hasn't gotten any farther than that. We saw that bat flip when he hit the home run off me. He just tossed it. Oh, I'm missing the ball. Yeah, three on the count here. Four on one. Uh, Ryan O'Rear showed up on my People You May Know uh, TikTok today. Nice. Yeah. It's a big pitch right here. Oh, just misses inside. He's going to have to throw to him. Yeah. This could be interesting here. He's a guy I don't want to mess with. Top of the fourth. You almost you have to. You can't just give him a run here in the fourth inning. Yeah, because yeah. Only uh it's gonna be last inning. Only a minute and a half left. Oh, this is the last inning. First yeah, they're trying first to decide what to do. First and third, two outs. It's the last inning, you got to throw it to him. No, you can't. I don't think you can change minute pass. You cannot. If what are you, what, what, what are you talking about? I don't think about? you can come in and pitch. I mean. 
It's still his at bat. You can't come in in the middle of that bat. Why? Why can't you? You can change pitches in the middle of bat. You can change pitches in the middle of bat. He can't go back in. I guess. Oh yeah, but then he. Yeah, he can't go back in. Josh Rogers. I still, I still don't think that because he walked him, it's his choice to throw it. I don't think that should be a. Josh Wait, Rogers not, on the yeah. hill to throw the 55 and under situation here. Hey, this I gotta is put him in as the pitcher. I agree. This is an interesting situation. Josh coming off a shoulder and elbow surgery. In this situation, we need to put that in the rule book. If he, if he walked him, he should have to throw. I agree. I agree. We need to. Do you want to do it? No, it's not. No, it's not in the rule book. All right, so. Yeah. Josh is going to get an opportunity Make sure we here. talk about that in the offseason. Yeah. Let's make sure all eyes are on this. <laughs> jo hey, Josh has to face three batters. It's true. He has to come in. All right. Let's see if Josh can get out of this. Actually, no, and that yeah, ball boy, is Ryan. deep and If he would have ended the inning, he wouldn't have had to come in. Oh, true, true, true. And now the Mambas have a 5-2 to two lead. Yeah, top of the inning. He has to stay in. Josh, Josh, you have, Josh, to, you have to stay in. You have to face three batters. So the minimum requirement is three batters. So Josh, who has a very broken arm, yep. is going to have to keep throwing here. And that'll put a tax on his uh, career ERA there. Nice pitch. No effort. Good pitch. What a big fly there from Ryan O'Rear helps himself out. It's a gnat in my mouth. That is huge. Five to two now the score. And Parker fouls this one off, but Colin is there to make the play. Yeah, I don't think that's going to hurt ZRA too much. It's only nope. one of those runs yep. is. Correct. Is, so. Correct. All right, we're heading to the bottom of the fourth <laughs> inning now. The last opportunity for the Empire. They gambled a little bit with the Josh Rogers switch in. But in the 55 and under situation, there wasn't a whole lot of options. So you like the interesting call, but ultimately the Mambas have taken the lead now. So what would you have done? What else could they have done? Yeah, you have, I think that was the right move. No, I mean, bringing in another pitcher to do it. Well, I mean, Josh had their best 55 and under pitch. It was their best chance to get out of it. It just, hey, I mean, it's unfortunate he had to keep throwing because yeah. he's not healthy, but... I understand the idea. I just gotta say goodnight to my daughter. Oh, you're good. Okay. Alrighty, last opportunity here for the Empire. As the camera is looking down the third baseline at the moment. Yeah. Well, then we're not looking at the same thing. Because I can see the cone down the first baseline. That's all right. It's not actually doing anything. So. It's all right, Cole. Don't hit anything. I guess I mean, not now. Just don't hit anything. We don't want to mess it up. Mike, you're up. You know what you're doing over there? For the most part. Okay. I think he was paying attention more than I was. <laughs> I really hope the concession stand doesn't close before the end I feel like it will, though. Thank you, baby. Probably. Night night. Oh, Mike Bye. takes one off the hip. I don't know, a lot of schools are out there. There has been a lot of hit by pitches here in this series. Really, the, maybe the spark of a rivalry between these two teams. Well, there's two balls. Actually, if you can, I'd appreciate it. A boy. I'm going to go do this one more time. Pitch there. Great job. Uh, I paid attention. This is rude. No one said you were done. Yes. Oh, what a pitch there for the first out of the inning. That was nasty. I believe this is Ryan O'Rear's first time pitching the complete game this season. As he uh, has shortened his innings thus far, but they're going to let him go all five or four. All four. That's the only four, right? Yeah. Is that low? That was low. Hit noodle. Oof, just missed. There is a gnat that will not leave me alone. Yeah, it buzzed me too. 
I blame you. You probably brought him. Well, you've been sitting here for a while. This is bothering you already. Oh, it seems that way because you got one to shoe on. Ball outside, 3-0. Four and zero now. Maybe Josh can do a little damage back here. After he was unfortunately put in a 5,500 situation and gave up the big fly in the top half of the inning. Let's see if he can get his team back in this here. That's a good strike to bounce back there. Four and one. There's a strike. Four and two. Oh. Parker, two steps over. Do it again, you're out. And Josh is battling. Oh. Poor communication back here. Nobody <laughs> called it. We ran into each other out for the season. Someone else get back here. I'm out for the year now. There's so many of those things. All right, Josh battling here with one away. The count's still full. Josh rocks the batting gloves, the moon shot, and he's going to take five. Hold on. How do I do this one? Double walk here. Double walk, so I got you. Walk. walk. Tap on him. Hit second base. Relax. Advance my back. Okay. All right. Here's Colin. Colin hit that home run earlier in the game. What were you saying before that? We went through over a we went over a hundred now. I forgot we had a lot in Brian school. Oh shit. So we had, I don't know, 330 racks, and then we got a free 12 pack. Yeah, we go to my buddy's property down uh, near Potosi. We'll, we'll get like 230 packs of Bush and then 230 packs of Natter Days. Oh, inside another hit by pitch in this game. Just alternate. Yeah. <laughs> I can't we drink just... that many of them in a row. And oh, Colin no. just misses this one. Oh. Two Fresh away. We may have to put security in the parking lot with all these hit by pitches. Except it's still just fun. Alright, that's my number. You got that? I think so. What are you doing? Next. Pitcher. Done. Done. Okay. Uh, batter held up. There should be like a held up button. Just uh, missed. Oh, held up. There we go. Shit. Up the middle. Wow, what a so play ball, by Alex, ball one, ball one, and then in, in play, play, hit single. All right, first and third up, now. Up the middle. Yep, right there. Tying run next. at the plate with two outs. Uh, advanced by batter. Right. Tying run at the plate with two outs here. Oh, man. Ball inside. If I were an Empire fan, I would be on my feet right now. Which is why I'm sitting down. One and one here. Actually, not the one. I don't need the one. Right oh, good pitch and a good fight it off. One and two. Two two. Two on, two out, down by three, oh and boy. he gets him swinging, and the Mambas win it. Huge. The Mambas take this one five to two, and they sweep the night series. We will be back with the Archers and Mojo here shortly.